Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. I love you guys very much. Happy birthday to all my beautiful Aries from this Aries season. This is your month of April, and I have some messages here. And just be mindful because the messages that I got and I wrote down in my notebook um, kind of had me feeling a little cringy. Kind of had my stomach feeling a little tight. The message was like it came with certain visions. So I got some visions while I was channeling these messages for you guys this morning. I got some visions along with these messages and they were very intense and they were very real. And these messages are very serious for whoever's watching my videos that will resonate with this message. This message is very serious. It's so um, I also got another message here that's kind of lighthearted. So I'm going to give you guys the lighthearted message first that I picked up on. And then I'm going to get into the other message that's very, very serious and intense. So let's get right into it, my loves. I love you guys. Let's see what's going on here. So the first message that I got was when I started hearing this song. This, this song by Sarani. All right, Sarani, S-E-R-A-N-I, Sarani, No Games, okay? So the song that I channeled was Sarani, No Games. So somebody is ready to give you a real, genuine offer. Aries, male or female, sun, moon, rising, north, node, or Venus, this message is for you. If you're dealing with an Aries or you're a cross watcher, then this could be your message. This is a timeless message, so let's get right into it. Okay, so I picked up on the song by Sarani, No Games. And basically, it's like, uh, Love you, girl, do you feel the same? I don't want to play games. No games. You're the only one that can hold my place. Let's just play it straight. Games. No games. So then he says, We've been together for six months, now you push for us. You push for us to exchange vows. You made me change my ways after all that we've been through. Okay, so, hmm. I don't know if you haven't spoken to this person in six months. Or you met this person six months ago. Or, um... Something about six months, okay? So this could have been six months to a year ago that you met this person or that you dealt with somebody for that amount of time. But somebody was being was somebody was very uh, non-committal or they weren't um investing in the connection the way you wanted them to. <clears throat> this person had a lot going on in their energy at the time when you met this person when you guys came together. But right now, this person is starting to have some sort of major awakening or an out-of-body experience when it comes to you. This person could be listening to love songs, thinking about you, or um, this person is just getting ready to come confront you or come forward to tell you how they honestly feel or how they really feel or that they're ready to exchange vows, that they're ready to commit to you. Um, this person feels like you guys been through some ups and downs or some upheaval or you guys experienced something together, a tough time together. And this could have ended things between you guys because you felt like this person wasn't doing their part. And this person, um, this person, all they want is you now. All they want is you. The only person that they want is you. This person could be thinking about you so much that, th that this person could be popping up in your mind. You kind of feel like this person's about to reach out. This is the person I'm speaking about. All right, so now let's get into the more serious messages here that I have written down. So one of, you know, one of my um, Soul Tribe family members texted me this morning because she had a very uh, powerful dream. Um, for me, it was more like a premonition. Okay. So when she texted me this morning and she said, Hey, um, she said, Hey, I had a dream. 
something horrible's coming for coming to New York. And I was like, whoa. And when she when I read her text message, I had a vision of a bad earthquake. Some sort of supernatural disaster over there. Like uh it could be weather, but I feel like it's an earthquake, something devastating in New York. And it kind of shook me to the core because I'm not too far from New York myself, okay? So, yeah, I had a vision when she texted me that message. I had a vision of a bad earthquake in New York. A lot of buildings collapsing, a lot of devastation there. All right? And I'm just going to say a quick prayer for God to protect everybody in the whole world from any natural disasters, for the Most High God to protect all of us from any sudden earthquakes, for all of us to be protected, our loved ones and our children, protect New York, anybody in New York, Spirit, if that's coming, if that's really going to happen, protect all of us. Okay, so I just felt the need to say that quick prayer because that vision was very powerful when I had it, okay? All right, and I also got a message, and when I got this message, I also had a vision with this message. So I don't know if any of you guys are experiencing a heightening of your gifts since the eclipse, but I definitely am experiencing a heightening of my gifts since the eclipse, and it's been very intense. A lot of energy surging through me, through my body, a lot of uh, visions. I'm having a lot of visions. I'm having a lot of um, experiences with uh, loud messages coming through, like just feeling energies more intensely, okay, having trouble sleeping. I've been up all night because I've been surging so much with energies. So I try to lay down and meditate just to relax my body, but I'm still up in a sense. I don't know if any of you guys are experiencing this, but let me know in the comments. But I've been having a lot of activation of my gifts, which was, which is my visions and my clear audience. I mean, my telepathic gifts. So you could be having these experiences. You could be hearing things telepathically. You could be seeing visions. You could be feeling things more than before. All right. Because there has been a major shift after that eclipse. All right. So uh, there's a karmic ex or a rival. This is the message I got. Okay. There's a karmic ex or a rival. A rival could be somebody that you used to be friends with, somebody that betrayed you in the past and then became your rival, this karmic uh, fake friend, all right? A rival could be a karmic that's dealing with your ex that's a rival to you, okay? A rival could be somebody that's in competition with you uh, at the workplace, wherever you do for work. This could be online. Somebody could be a rival to you online. And this can also be that there's a karmic ex, okay? So this could be a karmic ex or a rival or both. That has been summoning, all right, guys, this, this message is very intense, okay? So bear with me. There's a karmic ex or rival that has been summoning Elegua to curse you in your home, okay? If you guys don't know who that is, then go do your research, okay? That's like an African deity warrior entity spirit that can wreak havoc in someone's life if they're if this thing is summoned by someone it can be summoned by someone to wreak havoc in someone's home or their life wow i told you when i got this message i got a real cringy feeling and bad feeling in my stomach but this story is intense this message is intense right here so this is how it all this is how it all started, okay? There's somebody here that feels like you rejected them, all right? That you made them look bad when you rejected them. Or this person feels like you're stealing their shine, all right? They feel like you're stealing their shine or something like that. This person feels like if they can't have you, nobody will. Or this person feels like uh, they were uh, sent here to defeat you and, and, and stop you and block you and tear you down. This person feels like you stole something from them too, okay? Um, so this person is, is like obsessively targeting you and this person has been, this person could be a some sort of practitioner or they've been working with one. I feel like this person has been doing things in their own home. Like this person has been summoning an entity. I heard Elegua specifically to curse you in your home. If you are being scratched, if you felt like this was happening to you, being scratched, being watched in your home, if you had a slip and fall in your home, 
if somebody fell down the stairs, this thing was trying to push somebody down the stairs. I had a vision of this thing pushing someone down the stairs, scratching somebody, watching somebody. All right. This thing could have been, um, uh, ooh, I had a vision of this dark entity, this black figure. And this thing was literally posted up in the corner of somebody's ceiling in their home, like in the corner of the ceiling. And this thing was just like looking down at somebody while they were sleeping, watching this person sleep. This dark entity, it, 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 it literally stays up in the corner of the ceiling and looks down. This thing crawls on the walls and on the ceilings, okay? This is a dark shadow entity. Somebody could have witnessed this dark shadow and they thought nothing of it, but yeah. So if this is you, you need to do a house cleanse. You need to perform a house cleanse. You need to go to a church and get some holy water or some Florida water and holy water or, or uh, Florida water and um, um, rosemary oil. So I heard rosemary oil and holy water or rosemary oil and Florida water and put three crosses on your doors and windows of your home. Uh, this thing will have to stay out and leave you alone. Okay, so you could put bla uh, black salt around your home. Or perform a house cleansing ritual, all right? Because uh, maybe you did this. Maybe you guys did a ritual cleansing to your home. And this thing has backfired on whoever sent this dark entity to your home. All right? And then I heard whoever you are, Yamaya protects you from this entity, Elegua, that somebody sent to you. Okay, a dark black entity is sitting on the top corner. Somebody's still watching them now. It backfired. So this thing is now haunting the person that said this to you. This entity makes people feel sick. It makes people damn themselves. It basically makes people make... Uh, okay, so this entity makes you make bad decisions, gamble money, become aggressive, or become depressed, causes nightmares, and sleep paralysis. So if anybody watching this video is experiencing these things and you feel like there's something in your home, you've seen a shadow, you feel like there's a presence, then definitely get a house cleansing. Contact a real shaman or do it yourself. Perform a house cleansing or clearing. All right, so this entity could be attached to this person now, backfired onto them. This person could be damning themselves right now. This is what the entity does. It makes people make dumb decisions and damn themselves. So basically, this person could be experiencing nightmares, bad dreams, losing money. Losing money, all right, becoming depressed, becoming aggressive, causing this person nightmares or sleep paralysis, and this person is feeling haunted, and I know by now this person knows it's because of what they did to you, it's because of what they paid this practitioner to do to you, if they paid someone or they did it themselves, wow, yeah, and then I heard that, I heard angels and demons, Okay, because this person uh, wanted to cause you mental illness with this entity. But now whoever summoned this entity is, is faced with mental illness, drug addictions, losing sleep. Wow. Or physical illness. This person could be aging fast because you are protected by powerful light beings and angels. And then I heard angels and demons are in full on battle. That's what I heard, that angels and demons are in full-on battle at this time, fighting for the divine beings and protecting the divine beings, all right, diminishing dark entities. So somebody that you dealt with or that you um, that you had a sexual encounter with, they have a spiritual spouse. Mm. You guys know what a spiritual spouse is? If you don't know what a spiritual spouse is, then go do your research. A spiritual spouse is an energy or an entity that literally uh, sleeps with somebody and spiritually sleeps with somebody, has sex with somebody either in their dreams or in their mind. Like somebody could be masturbating, uh, but they're actually making love to their spiritual spouse. That's disgusting. Somebody has a porn addiction, so they have a spiritual spouse. They have a sex addiction. They have a spiritual spouse. So if you slept with this person, this entity will make this person attack you spiritually or verbally. You need to get away from them. Or you had to get away from this person because every time you had sexual encounter with them, this person did something to sabotage the connection or they sat, they would do something to disrespect you or you would just feel spiritually drained out or attacked. Um, clear your energy of this person. All right, do a cord cutting meditation. Take a powerful spiritual bath. I do have Be Gone spiritual bath available if you guys are interested. I do have Crown Chakra uh, protection spray as well. 
All right, so let me pull a few cards for you guys, and then I'm going to end this video because this energy is very intense. Oh, my gosh, I cannot make it up. This energy is very intense, and this person is dark-spirited. They're under demonic possession half the time. This person summons and conjures up things in their home, doing witchcraft or summoning things to try to curse you. This person is under judgment, all right, or they're under, like, they're... Their house is infested with dark entities or there's a dark black shadow in this person's home. Um, yeah, this person it, it can't get rid of it. It's attached to them now because you are so protected, whoever you are. This person could love to wear the color red or this person's eyes are red. If when you see them, they have red eyes or sometimes their eyes are red. Or sometimes they have black dark circles under their eyes. All right, they could have red hair, whoever this is, in your life. Wow. Yeah, this person was trying to block your door to value. They were trying to block your abundance, your money, your prosperity, the way people see you, the way people view you, the way people support you. This person can't stand it. They can't stand you. Seriously? This man could be losing a lot of money. The man holding on to the coin in reverse because somebody invested their money into doing this to you. All right? This could be a male or female, but the man holding on to the coin, it means that there's a masculine... That could be losing an investment, making dumb decisions because this entity is attached to them or their home. Yeah, victory is blocked. All right, and now this person is obsessed because you're calling in your soulmate and you're about to have a caring connection with somebody or you already do. And this person is obsessed with the fact that you have a caring connection, that you're with your soulmate or you're coming into contact with your soulmate. And they feel like they lost you completely happy family in reverse this person's home is like it i don't know when you go into somebody's home and it feels like it gives you bad energy then they have a they have dark energy in their home this is the person all right or this person everything is going left in their life because they tried to curse you and your home they wanted things to start breaking in your house they wanted you to slip and fall in your home they wanted you to have nightmares in your home they did this to you so now they're experiencing this energy in their home, in their life, and they don't understand why. All right? Wow. Somebody could be in their 30, 36, 38, 39. Somebody could be 44, 45, 42. Somebody could be 28. Somebody could have a four-year-old child or somebody's born on the fourth here. Second chakra archangel Ariel. Somebody's name could be Ariel, right? I heard Arnie, Asia, Ashanti, Jacqueline, Joyce. I heard Miller, Monica, Matthew, Sharon, Envy. Somebody has a lot of envy towards you guys, and this person having all this envy towards you guys conjured up something and um, around the full moon, around that eclipse that happened, and the full moon, it was like the full moon and then the eclipse. Like, so back to back, all these energies that this person was har harnessing and conjuring something up as of recently, now somebody's like uh, being haunted in their home, things are going to start happening in this person's life, this person's going to be... Uh, making bad decisions or they are everything this person conjured up is backfiring because you are protected my love the angels protect you and surround your home all right mm. wow yeah this person's tied up now like i said this could be a male or female this could be both but this person is tied up now they are tied up and they are stuck with the same entities that they conjured up to you that's what's going on here and they don't like it, okay? They don't really like it. Their strategy has ended. They can't strategize to manipulate you, to block you, anything. It's all being blocked. This person's stuck now, all right? Yeah, the garden and the gate. Somebody could have tried to put something in somebody's yard in their property, uh, putting something in somebody's garden, or like they plan to. No, they won't even make it to your home, all right? Because you are the woman holding on to a heart or you are really protecting your heart chakra, or this is a karmic woman that wanted to be in control of if you have love in your life. This person didn't want you to have love in your life. They wanted to take from your energy so they can like uh, manifest with your energy. 
So people could look at them as if they were you or they had your energy. So people were giving to them, paying attention to them because they were just taking your energy the whole time. This person is blocked out of your life now. Rest and rejuvenate, meditate. This is what Spirit's saying here. All right. And um, fifth chakra, they was really trying to block your throat chakra. Somebody could have woke up with a sore throat, okay, or sick or coughing. Uh, yeah, this could be confirmation for anybody that's blocking. Somebody's blocking their throat chakra here. All right, drink some honey or tea, um, ginger, okay? Whoever is doing this, they're experiencing something very, very heavy and dark in their energy as we speak. And there's somebody else that's really wanting to reach out to you because they don't want to play no more games. They know you're powerful. They know who you are. They know that your love is genuine and it, it's like irreplaceable, all right? And you have gave this person some sort of advice and they really didn't believe you at first, but now they know that you are definitely the truth, that your gifts are real. Something happened. Wow. Yeah, greediness. Somebody's greedy and lazy and they wanted to just take from you and your energy uh, or they wanted you to be just lazy, procrastinating. There's something here that was like really depleting somebody's energy. Somebody, there was this entity sitting on somebody's top of their corner of their ceiling in their room that was just watching this person sleep, siphoning their energy, whether this was you or this person, all right, but a house cleansing needs to be done, or a house cleansing was done, and then this thing that was conjured up towards a divine being is now uh, attacking or haunting the person that sent them, okay, just, uh, you're being very protected, all right, Inner turmoil, deep fears and secrets, releasing, worry, hope, reaching out. Somebody's reaching out because they know what they sent to your home. They know what they sent to you. They know that it's tormenting them now. All right. Yep. Wow. I cannot make this reading up. I promise you. All right. This person is going through guilt, inner turmoil, sleepless nights, dealing with this thing they conjured up towards you. They need to reach out. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be experiencing this or towards Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, but you have forward movement, progress, you're still winning, opportunities are coming in, taking a trip, you could have moved away from somewhere, this person doesn't even know where to find you or, or where you live or your phone number, you could have changed your number, so you're, you know, you're being protected from this energy, you're being put on a new timeline, you have brand new endeavors happening for you this season in the month of April, opportunities, windfalls, new connections, everything, everything, so like, this person is completely devastated by trying to come for you and ruin your energy or your life the ace of pentacles in reverse is that this person is not going to be able to attract what they used to attract using your energy because they got completely shut out of your energy and this entity that they were using to siphon your energy so they can create blessings for themselves is now T turned on this person it is now backfired on this person it is now taking this person's energy their livelihood, their happiness. I mean, like, I'm not wishing that on anybody. This is what's coming out here. This person needs to go do a cleansing on their home, see your priest, let go of their anger, re resentment, and bitterness. This person needs to go to God. Like, literally, pray for this individual, whoever this is, because you know this person. You had love for this person once upon a time, but this person turn turned dark on you. This person, like, showed you their true colors, their mask fell off. Yeah, there. This person understands that now there's some sort of conflict between a group or an organization or a group of people that were working together on this. Oh my goodness! Now they're real. Things are things are happening with this group because they worked in a team. They having group conflicts. There's group conflict because they're no longer celebrating. All right, because you're resilient, because you're the strength card, because you're the phoenix, because you overcame everything, okay? And you are moving forward, whoever you are, you are moving forward. And the emperor in reverse, king of swords, knight of swords in reverse, judge, oh my goodness. So you had, you, you, you've been speaking your truth. You predicted something that's actually happening or that it actually happened, okay, in somebody's home. And the Nine of Swords in the reverse is under judgment, but they're in denial. Somebody's in denial that they're being haunted or that they're under judgment. And because they worked with an emperor in reverse, this could be a father figure, this could be an authority figure, this could be another Aries. But this person, the, these people are under judgment. And the King of Swords, okay? So there's somebody here that's watching and observing and paying attention to you. All right? And they watch everything you do because they were hired 
to get, you know, to observe you. This person was hired to observe you or somebody got a private investigator to illegally watch you. They put some false claims on you. But this person is very impressed by you. This person also knows that whatever they accused you of, whatever they put this person onto you for, this person knows that you are innocent, that you are not uh, who they say you are and you did not do the things that you were accused of. Okay, so this person now wants to fight for you, wants to fight for justice, and wants to do the right thing, all right, to clear your name and to bring those that are responsible for targeting you, for trying to unalive you, for uh, defaming you, or uh, whatever they were trying to get away with doing to you. This person is going to um, help you, assist you. And they're going to get to the bottom of it. And they're going to bring these people to justice. And they're going to reach out to you, whoever you are. All right? Something really weird has been going on with your mail. Or something with your mail. They don't want you to receive something. This person might actually hand deliver something to your home. So that if somebody's been blocking you from receiving your mail and an important letter or document. Because they've been using somebody at the post office or a mailman or your neighbors to mess with your mail, whatever they've been doing. Then this king of swords is going to hand deliver something to your home. They will give it to you in your hand. They will make sure you receive this important document or information. Wow. Because they took a leap of faith in reverse. All right. So this is what I'm getting for you guys. This is your message. Thank you so much for watching this video. Love you guys. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Okay, and if you're interested in my products, just reach out. You can reach out to me on my email. It is down below. Thank you so much. Till the next time, namaste.